There's a lot of work that I don't show. Among other things is cleaning up all the bolts because most of them have been painted over and the bolt heads are full of crap and paint and stuff so I usually go over all the bolts with the wire brush and clean them up. So that's what I'll do now, just like so, until they're clean. I'm going to try to put this back on now. I'm not sure if that will be easy or not. first and try to maneuver it into that afterwards. This oil seam that is creating problems. It's old and stiff and doesn't want to play along anymore. Try to line everything up in the darkness in there. <clears throat> Guess I should have put on put this piece on before I put the quick change box onto the headstock. Maybe. Seem to fit kind of. On with the screws with the coupler washers. Definitely not put those all the way in. Until we got everything aligned.
there, there's taper pins here to do that. Uh, I need to clean out. I'll be back. I've cleaned everything and mounted the last screws. I got everything lined up, but I have to take it apart again because. Uh, uh, taper pin here and the alignment pin in there it goes into the shaft. This is the um, lead screw reverse shaft by the way. And over here we have the lead screw reverse lever or lever. Hmm. And the way that uh, piece over there is aligned now, uh, this doesn't uh, uh, get the full travel, so I have to rotate the um, multi-start tread inside here, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So as usual, I'll have to take it apart again, but then it goes twice as fast as last time. It's on now and it's correctly aligned. A taper pin there, there, and a new taper pin in the shaft there, along with a grub screw in there that goes into the slot. And this is metro down and up. I think that's an okay alignment. We'll see what we'll do next. I'm working on the output shaft from the quick change gearbox to the lead screw the taper pin that was in here when I took it apart I think it was a number 5 taper pin but uh, I tried to get it out with the normal methods hammering on the small end and <clears throat> stuff like that uh, didn't work so I had to drill it out and after I drilled it out uh, I was pretty sure I had drilled it in the center but I had drilled it in the center of the start here and it didn't help because the taper pin had actually twisted inside this so the shaft had rotated in the in this sleeve so no matter what I would do, would uh, no matter what I had done uh, it would have messed up something and I messed up this now I'm uh, making the hole bigger for a number six taper pin like uh, so I uh, need to ream some more. Then I'll uh, ream the lead screw to, to a number 6 taper pin and uh, everything will be nice again. The taper pin in this uh, shaft is okay. I wonder if they must have uh, had a serious crash to bend the taper pin like that. Now it's finished. I need to ream the shaft too after I install it. That should be a little easier, I think. Well, I got the lead screw from storage. Uh, these things were attached to the rod, uh, clutch rod. Mm, they're not painted, so I'll paint those uh, after the electrical cabinet. And I think the only parts that's missing paint is the cover for the headstock and the coolant pump. And a little bit on the tailstock. I'm ready to put on the first layer of paint now. I'm going to roll at least one layer, probably two. And then I'll spray the last layer. Um, electrical cabinet, um, tailstock base, and the ship shield.
The first coat of paint is on. It worked reasonably well, but I think I'll put on another coat with the roller before I spray it on the bottom of the tailstock. No, I'm not going to paint this uh, until I get to the spraying because I don't want such a thick layer of paint where it attaches to the light. Well, we'll have to wait another couple of days before the next layer of paint. These three parts are ready for primer now. I've uh, used a needle scaler and sanded them. And you'll notice this fun things all the time here. This top part here where the tread dial is sitting is actually chromed. Noticed it first down there when I got the paint off and this is chrome too. Just needs a little bit more polishing onto the primer. This is the back side of the ship shield, or uh, it's not the back side, it's the side. This is, the, this is the side that was down when I painted it yesterday, so I'll paint that side now to get uh, even with it. And that's the bottom of the bottom of the tailstock. Um, I'll paint both pieces just with a little brush since I can clean that. Um, the rollers, the foam rollers, uh, it's impossible to clean them and they're quite expensive so I'll just use a brush to paint these two. There it is painted. I think I'll put uh, one more coat on maybe. Um, there's the ship shield. Looks very nice in the video I imagine, but up close it needs a lot more work. This will be the final installment in this video I think. And, um, We'll be back with uh, more soon. Just a little tip for those who paint with brushes. And first get a good brush and after you clean it with the white spirit or something like that, put oil on the bristles that way they will stay, stay soft. I use WD-40 for that too. See you soon!